Hey, any fish. 6th of December, 2017. And, uh, it's early and I have to share this with you before I get on to my day here I come across this article right Romania Rome okay ex-king Michael ruled during World War II same time as Pearl Harbor right just saying I got I got to keep this in context here because 127 keeps rattling off at me can't help it. It's just the way it is. So this guy dies yesterday on the 5th at 96 of all ages, right? World War II, Romania, Michael, December 7th, Revelation 12, 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels cast out with him. Revelation 12, 7. 12, 7. Let's go to the Jewish calendar. Today's the 18th of Kislev in the Jewish calendar. Tomorrow will be the 19th. That will be 9-19. And once in a while, I'll click these little Jewish history things. This website, who runs this calendar, I believe they are uh, Kabbalists, uh, ancient mystery practices, Jews who say they are Jews but are not. And this is what they're celebrating tomorrow, the Yazit of Majid of Megzrek, from 1710 to 1772, very close to our country's founding. He was the successor of the Baal Shem Tov. Now, you can uh, research this stuff, but uh, it's all that mystic, magic type of uh, whatnot stuff, you know what I mean? So that just, I had to share that with you. Rome, Romania, ex-King Michael during World War II at 96. Come on now. And we can even make a 9-11 out of when they posted the stinking article. So, forgive me. I mean, this just, it takes a lot to get me kind of excited about this stuff. And this is pretty, pretty interesting. And what I find even more interesting, if we just look tiny little bits all these tabs i have open again here still i had this one up there the 22nd of may is when this occurred the same day same date that the scorpion was reported missing with the two nuclear weapons on it isn't that strange and odd and weird okay and it doesn't end there. I mean, if we look at the 19th of Kislev as far as biblically chapter and verse, that would be 919. So we go to Revelation 9. And we to give us a little context here, and thus I saw the... This is when uh, the four angels were loosed. When he says to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels abound at the great river Euphrates... And the four angels were loosed and were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. 9.17 And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth, and of and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire, by the smoke, and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. I think John was talking about nuclear weapons, high yield bad things. 917. What were we looking at? 919. Sorry about that. 
9.19 For the power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. I'll actually highlight that. 9.19 And another weird thing is if we look from the 22nd to the... Uh, to the 19th or to the 7th of December you know from May 22nd the same day that the sub went missing the same day that these guys all did their thing it's a hundred and ninety nine days to the 7th which reminded me right away of 919 199 all these weird connections and another thing this reminded me of was the one sheep that one sheep because we'll leave the 99 to get the one for the son of man has come to save that which which is lost how think ye if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray does he not leave the ninety and nine and go within the mountains and seek that one which has gone astray right ninety nine and one that's how I see it. But it's just bizarre that it's 91 <laughs> when it falls on that same day. You know what I'm saying? All these things. But, you know, again, the main one that I wanted to show you was you can't make that stuff up, folks. Okay? Just say it. You know? I can't not tell you about this stuff. This one particularly is mind-blowing. King Michael at 96. You can't make this stuff up. 12-7, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought. See where I'm coming from? So, yes, I still feel as though tomorrow, December 7th, is very significant. I truly do. And there's a lot, so much connected to it. But, Hopefully I can get to it and share it with you some more later. So, you all have a great day. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 